welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a very quick, like super casual haul on um, CB2 and Crate and Barrel. I did pick up some stuff for the house um, and I'm just in the unpacking mode. You can see it's a disaster behind me. So I want to get these things washed and put away. I just finished lining my cabinets, but I do have quite a few more to do. So if you guys want to see me get my um, kitchen organized, please um, watch the next video because that will be a little kitchen move-in organization video. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Before I do that, if you guys are wondering, this is like the huge oversized shirt from um, Urban Outfitters. It's just super comfy. I'm super casual today, just chilling at home. So if you guys did not see, I just posted my house tour video. It is very casual. We um, hadn't filmed, or I hadn't filmed in a long time. We were just super excited and all over the place, but it's there if you guys wanna check out my empty house tour. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, you guys, so here's an overview of everything I'm gonna haul. Um, quite a few boxes from CB2, Crate and Barrel, um, and then I have one thing from West Dom I want to show you and then something from a brand called Goop. So just a little overview. Um, I'm going to start out with uh, CB2, everything that I purchased from CB2. Um, I didn't really get much house decor because I kind of wanted to live in the space and see what the house looked like. You have to keep in mind that I um, picked all these options in the home based off like little squares put together. So I needed to see everything and kind of visualize it, live in the space before I started buying home decor. So these are just the essentials, um, but let's get started. So the first thing I picked up from CB2 is the Frank dinnerware set. I really like it because it's circular. At our last place, we had like the square, but the corners and stuff always chipped. So I'm excited to try these out. I like that it has a little lip there. And with that, I also picked up the little salad plates. Um, I thought these would be good for like a little snack too, or, you know, smaller meals. And then uh, the bowl. So when I received the bowl, I realized that it was way more shallow than I thought. So I mean, this would probably be a good like salad bowl or like maybe pasta bowl, but I don't know, they're a little bit more shallow than I anticipated. So I did end up purchasing a second set of bowls. Um, for like soups and more heartier dishes and chili and things like that. Um, but I like how these all really stack together really pretty. They're kind of modern looking, which is definitely the vibe that I'm going for for a new place. Um, also part of the Frank collection is this big, um, it's like a side, you know, you can put sides in it, like mashed potatoes, whatever. Um, so I did pick up this serveware too. Um, move this out of the way. Next, we'll jump into a drinkware. So I picked up these, um, I think they're called the Neat Cooler. So I don't know if you can tell, but they kind of taper a little bit at the top. They're very thin. Um, I thought these would be really pretty for drinks in the summer, um, as well as the little short ones. So I also picked up these, I don't know if you can tell, but they do kind of taper, very thin rim. Um, I really, really love these, so I'm happy I got those. And then um, for wine glasses, I picked up these. They're super modern, kind of squared off and kind of tapered. Um, they're really, really different. So there are some off Crate and Barrel that I really liked, but they were just a little bit too like edged off. I think I thought these were just a little bit, a little bit more daintier and prettier. These are the Juliet white wine glasses. So I bought the white white ones on white wine ones by mistake. Um, I actually wanted to buy the red wine ones because red wine ones because you could also drink white wine in a red wine glass, but um, I just need to place a second order. I'm just gonna get the red ones too. They're super pretty. I'll probably get the champagne glasses. I was just kind of being frugal Fran and didn't want to spend too much before we moved into the house. So now that we're in, uh, I'll probably be placing another order for things that I should have ordered to begin with. Um, the next thing I picked up is this really cool like beaker looking pitcher. It is called the trap pitcher. So when I got it in, it was a lot smaller than I anticipated. So I did get a second one. Um, 
And then from CB2, I just picked up some waffle knit towels for the kitchen and these really cool um, soap pumps. So I'm doing a lot of black accents. These are like glass coated and um, they're really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna fill these up with like antibacterial soap and put them in the restrooms. So that is all from CB2. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything together from Crate and Barrel and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I have everything in front of me from Crate and Barrel. Um, once I'm done with this, I am gonna show you guys something I did pick up from CB2. I just already have it out. So I'll walk over there and show you that. Crate and Barrel, um, the first thing that I picked up were these, um, it was this like colander. So you can put it over your sink like this. It has little grippies here, so it's not gonna scratch anything. I just thought this one was really cool looking. Um, it was really nice. It's called the, oh, just over the sink colander. Put that here. The next thing I picked up is just a really big bowl. Um, I thought this would be good to like marinate barbecue or make salads, things like that. We just needed something like this. It's just a simple pair of tongs. Mainly, mainly I got this for my boyfriend for when he barbecues. Okay. Um, okay, we'll stay on that. So the next thing that I picked up was just kind of random, but it's just a little tiny cast iron dish. I'm going to use this to make pizookies um, as a little treat sometimes. Justin is obsessed. Um, the next thing that I picked up for the kitchen is this really, really big spatula. So it's called the omelet spatula. And it's seriously a game changer. If you always break your omelets, this, this is what you need. You don't need the crate and barrel one, but it was actually super inexpensive. I want to say it was like eight bucks or something. And then the item I'm most excited for, how cute. Um, it is the Tavalo, I don't know, pink cookware set. So there's spatulas and spoons. There's silicone, so it's not going to mess up your dishes. I am completely obsessed. I want little pops of pink all in my kitchen since I'm the only one that uses it. So Justin could care less. Um, I'm not gonna decorate with pink, but I will have little fun accents like this. So those make me really happy. Um, the next thing is kind of like an organization thing. I got some berry, berry colanders from Crate and Barrel. I wanna say these were like five bucks or something, but I thought it would be a really good habit for me to wash my fruit, throw them in these so I can see them things will um, be eaten and not go bad. So I got a couple of those. The next thing was an egg dish um, for the fridge so I can see how many eggs I have. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the grocery stores or gone to the grocery store and have seen like, oh, I have a thing of eggs in the fridge, but I don't open it to see how many. I get home and have one egg. So I think it'll be really cool to be able to see how many eggs I have and it'll probably be really be really pretty in the fridge too. Let's be real. It's the only reason I, I really got it, right? Um, the only really piece of decor that I bought was just this really uh, pretty peak vase. It is the laurel vase, laurel angled vase. So it's a little bit bigger actually than I anticipated. I thought it was gonna be a little bud vase, like super tiny for an entryway table. So I'll probably end up putting this um, out when I have flowers or something, but it is a little bit bigger than I anticipated, but still really cute. Uh, and then the last thing that I picked up from Crate and Barrel are these bowls. I kind of mentioned before that the bowls that I had um, from CB2 just weren't sufficient. They weren't deep enough. So I did pick up these, which still aren't as deep as I thought they would be, but they're way better for comparison. Like way better. This is totally like a cereal bowl, a soup bowl, a chili bowl. Um, so yeah, guys, I am going to show you the other thing that I picked up from CB2. It's super cute, but I want to have a little honorary mention for Goop. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Goop. It's like, um, it's like a lifestyle website. They sell everything from bathing suits to home products, to books, to candles. I mean, you, they have the most interesting pieces in that on that website. So a YouTuber here that um, I follow religiously, Sam Oskarl, posted these pink pans. 
So naturally, I had to order these pink pants. So it's a whole set. They are beautiful. It's um by the brand Green Pan, and they did a and they did a collaboration with Goop. So. Super cute, and then I'm gonna show you. They come with the lid as well, so I'm just so excited to cook with my pink dishes. I got the whole set. I just don't want to unbox them all, but super cute. I'm usually not a huge gold fan, but it's not like super bright. It's more like a brushed, a brushed gold. So yeah, guys. Um, I'm just gonna do a little overview of that last little piece that I picked up from CB2, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you want to see more home decor or home essentials, please let me know. I'm still adding to my collection. These are just the basics. So I am so happy to be back and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.